Hi, I'm Paul W. Smith. Modern roundabouts are becoming increasingly popular in Oakland County and throughout the U.S. These intersections are specifically engineered to reduce traffic congestion and improve pedestrian safety without the use of traffic signals. Modern roundabouts have proven significantly more effective at maintaining traffic flow and reducing serious injury accidents compared to conventional intersections. Roundabouts are variations of traditional intersections, many of which connect roads at 90 degree angles. Most modern roundabouts look like this. In the middle is a central island around which all traffic flows in a counterclockwise direction. Splitter islands split or separate the direction of traffic on each road that is connected to the roundabout. Approaching traffic from each road has its own signage and yield line that is marked on the pavement. Vehicles already circulating in the roundabout have the right of way. Pedestrian crossings are set back from the roundabout and use the splitter islands. Modern roundabouts are not the same as traditional traffic circles such as those found on the East Coast. Some traffic circles use stop signs or signals to control vehicle entry. Roundabouts use neither. In many traffic circles, circulating vehicles must yield the right of way. The opposite is true of roundabouts. Approaching traffic must yield. The design of the approach to a modern roundabout slows vehicles to a speed similar to that of traffic already in the roundabout. This makes it easier for a vehicle to enter the roundabout without stopping when gaps in traffic allow. In addition, modern roundabouts also use a smaller radius than traditional traffic circles. This automatically slows traffic to 15 to 25 miles per hour, which reduces the likelihood of collisions and injuries. The statistics are impressive. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, installing a roundabout typically results in a 76% reduction in injury accidents, a 90% reduction in fatalities, and a 40% reduction in pedestrian injuries. Navigating a roundabout is not difficult. Generally, people adapt very quickly. The key is to get in the proper lane before you arrive at the intersection, then yield to traffic in the roundabout and follow your lane assignment. Here's how it works. If you approach a roundabout in the right lane of two lanes, you have two options, as indicated by this sign. You can either make an immediate right turn, or you can go straight. To make a right turn, move to the right lane well before entering the roundabout. Remember to yield to traffic in the roundabout. When it is safe, enter the outside lane of the roundabout. Activate your turn signal, and complete your turn, being sure to remain in your lane. You may also use the approaching right lane to go straight through the roundabout. Enter the outside lane of the roundabout. Go past the first turn and complete your maneuver. The left lane allows for three options, going straight, making a left turn, and executing a U-turn. To go straight, Enter the far left or inside lane of the roundabout. When you reach the opposite side, exit while remaining in your lane. If you want to make what would be a conventional left-hand turn, enter the roundabout in the same inside lane. Go three quarters of the way around and then exit, staying in the corresponding lane. U-turns are executed from the left lane by utilizing the inside roundabout lane to go all the way around the center island and then exiting the circular traffic flow via the proper lane. Roundabouts can be used to connect roads with one, two, or three lanes of approaching and exiting traffic. Let's look at your options for driving through a roundabout when you approach the intersection on a three-lane road. The rules just discussed for two-lane approaching roads still apply. You can go right or straight from the right lane. And straight, left or make a U-turn from the left lane. The only difference is the addition of a center lane. This lane is used for going straight. Refer to the posted signs and directional arrows on the pavement. They'll help you navigate through any roundabout, regardless of how many lanes make up the connecting roads.
Here are some other important points regarding roundabouts. Ringing the central island is an apron. Only large trucks are allowed to use the apron to negotiate the tight turning radius. Be aware that large vehicles may need to swing wide in order to make a turn, so leave them plenty of room. If in the roundabout you encounter a law enforcement or emergency vehicle with its siren and or flashers on, continue on your intended path until you exit the roundabout, then pull over as soon as possible. Pedestrians in crosswalks have the right of way. The splitter islands allow them to cross one direction of traffic at a time. Additionally, pedestrians cross one to two car lengths behind the yield line. This prevents conflicts between pedestrians and cars as they enter the roundabout. As a result, roundabouts offer improved safety for pedestrians versus conventional intersections. Pedestrians should not walk in the roundabout. If there is no crosswalk marked on a leg of a roundabout, that leg is not intended to be crossed. Find another route to your destination with pedestrian markings. The rules for bicyclists at roundabouts are the same as those for traditional intersections. They can travel as pedestrians, riding on the sidewalk and walking their bikes through the crosswalk. Or they can ride through the roundabout, following the same rules of the road as motorized vehicles. Bicyclists should maintain the speed of circular traffic to avoid being passed. For this reason, it is recommended that only advanced bicyclists use the circulating roadway within a roundabout. Roundabouts offer many benefits over traditional intersections. They are safer for motorists, pedestrians, and bicyclists. They're better at moving higher volumes of traffic. And because entering a roundabout usually requires very little waiting, vehicles spend less time idling and thus emit less pollutants. These reminders will help make adapting to roundabouts a little easier. Select the proper lane before entering a roundabout. Posted signs and pavement markings will help you decide. Yield to pedestrians and bicyclists in crosswalks. When entering, always yield to vehicles in the roundabout. Traffic flows to the right or counterclockwise. Follow your lane assignment as indicated by the pavement markings. Do not pass or stop in a roundabout. And be sure to signal your intentions. When exiting, pay attention to any vehicles on your right to be sure that they too are exiting. This defensive driving technique is easy due to the low speed within the roundabout. More information on roundabouts, including the location of existing ones in Oakland County, can be obtained on the internet at www.rcocweb.org or by calling the Road Commission's Department of Citizen Services toll-free at 877-858-4804. I'm Paul W. Smith. Thanks for watching.